The mama has a very interesting idea. Instead of going to the welfare of their time, or instead of looking for the billionaire of their time, instead of looking for the rich person, she goes to a prophet with a money problem. Now she didn't go to a prophet with a money problem because prophet was loaded. She didn't go to the prophet because prophet somehow made money or he had a money machine in his backyard or he was dealing gold. She went to the prophet because the prophet had anointing on his life. Anointing means he had this power of God on his life that even though he did not have much money per se, he had the power of God and he could make things happen even though he did not have money. She went to the prophet. It's important to realize all of us in here as Christians have anointing. We all have anointing. The Bible says that. That we all have anointing on our life. But anointing is like money. Some have more, others have less. Right? You have all money. And Bill Gates has money too. The difference between you and me and the Bill Gates is the fact that we have money very little but we are not millionaires, we're not billionaires and the brother Bill Gates who lives in Seattle, he has a lot of money. And sometimes you have a problem that you don't have a money for, correct? Let's say your car breaks down and the expenses for it is $3,000 and your money is $200. What do you do in that problem? You still have money but not enough to fix your problem. We all have anointing but sometimes the level of our anointing is not big enough for the bigness of our problem. Sometimes the amount of the anointing we carry is good for the problems that we are facing but there are times when we face a problem that we look at our anointing box and we look at the problem and we see big problem small anointing what do you do then you find someone who has enough anointing for the problem that you face this woman's husband was a prophet son of a prophet she had anointing in her life but she hit a problem that she had no anointing for and what she does she finds a man whose anointing is bigger than her problem when you face a problem that's bigger than your anointing, find someone whose anointing is bigger than your problem and your problem will be over. Can somebody say amen? The reason why we go to Africa, the reason why we connected with other ministries is we recognize that many times not only our problems are smaller than our anointing, sometimes our dreams are bigger than our anointing. Our dream is not just to have the full sanctuary and these seats seated. Our dream is far bigger than that. And for that reason, we must hook up with people who have anointing enough for the size of our dream. Can somebody say amen? If, you, if you're broke and you got big bills, you got to find somebody who has a lot of money. That's what you do. That's what I do. If you have financial problem, you don't go to your broke cousin or your broke uncle or auntie. You go to someone in the family who is loaded. And you ask them, please hook me up with some. Give me some Benjamins. Send, send them some way. That's exactly what this woman does. She has anointing but it's not enough for her problem and she goes to someone who is loaded on the anointing, who has so much of it and she comes to him and says, hey I got a problem and you got a solution. Can you help me out? We've seen many people in our church who were delivered here at the prayer lines when we've seen many people who when we took them to Africa they were delivered there. Why? because of the level of the anointing. Can somebody say amen? Our desire is to get more of the anointing but while we are getting more we must recognize when you face a problem bigger than your anointing find someone who has anointing the size your problem. 